I've been a fan of Strive for many years and wanted to, you know, get involved with it. I've known Taylor for a while. I think I even coached against him when he was in high school way back. Kind of dates me a little bit, but so I've known Taylor and kind of seen Strive start uh, from the beginning. And it was just a matter of getting the right setup here and getting the right, getting the administrators on board. Our superintendent came to me one day a year and a half ago and said, hey, you need to get on Strive which I thought was funny because I'd been talking to him about it for a while and he, he, he'd finally done some research on it and saw what it was and, and he was all about it. So I called Taylor that day and I think we got set up like a week later because like, I'd been wanting to do it for a long time. Yeah, I thought just what the opportunities it could have for our kids um, to be able to live stream their events, their sporting events, their the musicals, their music programs, any of that kind of stuff and be able to extend the reach of Sandy Creek out to more people. I know, um, I, I just thought that was a huge benefit. And then as I got into it and started really understanding what it was about, I saw the broadcasting side of it and the video production side of it and all these things that could lead to possible careers or you know passions that our students have and thought, I mean, this is a no brainer that we need to be doing something like this for our kids. Our staff is starting to understand what Strive can do. And so I've got elementary teachers emailing me, hey, we're doing this event with the kindergartners. And, and can you come and live stream it? Can you come live stream? And, and so they're starting to think of ways in their classrooms uh, to reach out to the grandparents, to the aunts and uncles, to the people that just can't make it for those events but want to be a part of it still. At Sandy Creek, we have uh, Nebraska CAPS. It's Nebraska Center for Advanced Professional Studies. And what that is is a network of schools that we've joined that are doing what they call professional-based learning and strive in our, our digital media classroom along with our graphic arts classes kind of all go together to form a pathway in the Nebraska CAPS and, and what we're doing is trying to give kids uh, real life projects, real life experiences in jobs that they could possibly have whether it's being a broadcaster or editing videos or using graphic design, uh, Photoshop and different Adobe softwares to, to do things that they would be doing. We've partnered with Strive, we've partnered with Hastings Tribune, we've partnered with lots of businesses in our area to give our kids the opportunity not just to make something for class but to actually make something for a business with a working uh, working with a business partner giving them some sort of real world experience and with this the graphic art program has started to use strive and strive has been a wonderful business partner with us and even their uh, the people that work there have been great mentors for our students so the students have been doing projects that strive has asked them to do a couple students actually created an snc logo for them so that they could use when they're broadcasting the championships and the the conference tournaments um, there are times to help update the brackets for the conference tournament that the students actually worked on them and then sent them off up to Strive. They've been doing a lot of different things with that. That's all come from uh, Strive and they've all been ideas that Strive, our business partner, has given the students and the students are working with them and getting ideas from them. Strive has done so much for our kids. They've, they've, we've, we've come to your guys' office, you've shown us all cutting edge stuff and we try to try to emulate that, try to use that. An example, the other night uh, we had prom out here last weekend and we made a Snapchat filter for it. And that was something you guys showed us. So we had the entire Graphic Art Ones class made Snapchat filters and we voted on which one was the best and we uploaded it and got it. And so then kids at prom were using it for Snapchat. And the fun part was all the kids that were at Sandy Creek kind of knew about it. The kids that were out of town dates or you know weren't, weren't Sandy Creek students couldn't figure out how you, they didn't know how you could do that. They thought that was just something Snapchat did and how did we get a Sandy Creek one. So we were explaining, you know, we Strive has done that. So just little things like that that just promote our school in a little bit different way have been, have been good.